A Life of Reality and Fantasy by Kenya, with two thumbs up, 39 thumbs down, three comments, and 38 referrals. The tags for the story are Romance, Comedy, Crossover, Adventure, and Throne. One day, I wake up as the pony version of my Doctor Who OC. I travel with the Master as I try and solve the mystery of my cutie mark and my feelings. We clash with the Doctor, only to find my best friend with him. When my friend and I are targeted, we must tell the truth and find a way to save ourselves and our Time Lords. The ponies that star in the story are the main six, Doctor Who's, original characters, and other characters. Chapter 1 an unexpected surprise, with 689 words. I sat on the edge of my bed, watching Doctor Who, a spearhead from space. The date, 16th November, 2014. I was 17 yesterday. I was able to get a side photo of all the doctors, though it was missing John Hurt's autograph. He played the true ninth doctor, otherwise known as the Doctor of War. Shame, he made an awesome doctor. I should explain a little more about me. Well, I'm 17 years and one day old, but by the time I put this online, I will be 17 years and five days. I am a big Whovian as well as a brony. I am known to be a bit weird and childish, and I enjoy being around my friends rather than my family. They tell me I need to grow up because I like MLP, but I never listen. I have recently got ODWD, Obsessive Doctor Who Disorder. I am a fully converted believer in the religion Whovianism. Yes, I am ODWD and Whovianism up. I got into Doctor Who's too. Then I found out about the Master Pony. Believe me, I had never fangirled so much in my life. I love the Master. Not sure why. I have figured I have a thing for bad guys. The Master, before becoming the Mistress. King Sombra, Reaver. Yes, I have been worrying about my sanity for a long time now. A sudden flash caused me to jump. I looked out the window. Rain fell by the bucketful. I sighed. Rain. Again. I turned off the TV. Now Doctor Who had finished. I lay down with a yawn. I pulled a blanket over me. I may as well have an early night seeing how I spent most of last night, my DW DVD, and the last Airbender anime. Is it really an anime? I closed my eyes. I had college tomorrow. That was something worth waiting for. I felt vibrations on the ground. I groaned, damn earthquake. My eyes opened. Wait, ground? Earthquake? I sat up and looked around. I was in a prison cell. A light force field surrounded the place. I looked down at my feet. Expect, they were in feet. But whose? I looked at my hands. Yes, I still had hands. I was an anthropony. I had a red top and skirt. On the top was a familiar symbol. I saw a bowl of water. I looked into it. A brown pony looked back at. It had blue eyes and blonde and ginger hair. I couldn't believe it. I was the pony version of my Doctor Who OC, the princess, or Kenya, but in my fanfic, only her two friends knew that name. Just like my fanfictions. Are you okay? I guess you must be confused, but don't worry. A voice in my head said, I am Timey, and everything you planned for this character, you will live through. Everything that happened to this character has happened. You have the memories, the feelings, and her personality. Great. I groaned, standing up. I looked around and saw a single Dalek, the guard Dalek that had been left behind after the Time War. That means the Doctor will be coming soon. Unless, in this world, he gets detained by something. Timey said. I ignored him. What could detain the Doctor? Sorry, Derpy. The Doctor is mine. I looked at pacing. I had to get used to this body. A Dalek pushed food into my cell. I turned to see a blue stallion with blonde mane behind it. Not the brown stallion I was expecting. This blue stallion had a cut under his eye and a hole in his ear. I was speechless as he pulled something out, destroying the Dalek. That's not the doctor, I thought. That means the doctor was not the first to get your message. Timey said, the anthro blue stallion came in, destroying the shield. Hello, I am the master. He grinned. I blinked. Well, this changes a lot of things in my story. The master hauled out his hand. Are you coming? A sly grin on his face. I felt myself blushing. I took his hand. What happens now? 